हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट प्रिपरेशन ऑफ रेजन मोस्ट प्रोबेबली अमीनो रेजन व्हिच इज लाइक यूरिया फॉर्मेल्डिहाइड एंड देन देयर इज वन मोर व्हिच इज फिनॉल फॉर्मेल्डिहाइड सो लेट अस सी हाउ अ रेजन इज प्रिपेयर्ड basically obviously today your aim would be to prepare a resin so objective would be preparation of urea formaldehyde resin uh, so as the name suggest uh, this resin uh, which is nothing but a polymer is basically having two monomers involved which is urea and formaldehyde and using them uh, we are going to prepare a compound called resin so apparatus required uh, would be pipette uh, beaker stirring rod uh, because uh, when in a beaker you are going to mix two things together so you would require a stirring rod to stir the solution then a measuring cylinder because uh, we need to measure the things we need to measure the liquids so in the measuring cylinder you uh, can measure the liquid easily and uh, now just because uh, your urea is solid so to measure urea uh, you would require a weighing machine for that so a weighing machine would be uh, required now coming to the chemicals uh, we are going to use formaldehyde solution formaldehyde is also uh, known as formalin solution so we are going to use that and then uh, urea obviously then a concentrated acid and distilled water so now uh, let's go ahead with uh, how are you going to prepare but like before that you should know what are you going to prepare so if you go by word a resin basically it's a type of polymer earlier it was used to say that any compound which can be converted into polymer is a resin but uh, nowadays you can say that resins are usually organic compounds mixtures and they are polymer and especially if you want to say like amino resin they are thermosetting polymers so once they are set they are set so uh, they are prepared by combining an aldehyde and a compound which contain amino group so the ingredient would be these two aldehyde we require and we require a compound which is having amino group so now if you see amino uh, resins are uh, normally a condensation product because these two are going to react and it would be of like two types urea formaldehyde resin or malamine formaldehyde resin depending on you are reacting uh, formaldehyde with urea or with malamine and both of them are having amino group so that is an amino uh, resin and mostly uf resin is in uh, like major use and rest of the use is uh, by melamine formaldehyde uh, let us go by what do we understand by resin means when we say it is a polymer so polymer is obviously having many parts and those units those parts are known as monomers so they combine together to give you this large molecular weight long chain compound which is polymer and wherein n is degree of polymerization means the number of monomers involved in the reaction so overall the reaction by which a polymer is formed is polymerization and if you go in detail of the classifications uh, we need to know uh, which type of polymer we are preparing so let us see this uh, this i have taken it from uh, my video one of my video is majorly focused on polymers and its classification so you can see the link here and you can go there if you want to discuss it in detail now based on origin uh, you are going to see whether they are natural semi synthetic or synthetic means they occur in the nature or you are uh, changing it or you are making it completely new then homo and co uh, let's uh, say uh, this is a homo polymer when the monomers are same it makes homo polymer when the monomers are different it makes a co polymer then based on polymerization you can say that if the monomers are combining so these uh, monomers a and b are combining and giving you the polymer then it is an addition polymerization but at the same time if product is formed but along with that a small molecule is released then that particular reaction or polymerization is condensation type so condensation type of polymer wherein a small molecule like nh3 hcl h2 is released so based on that urea formaldehyde resin is obviously a co polymer because uh, two different monomers are involved here it is synthetic because you are making it in the lab then on the basis of synthesis you can call it as a condensation polymer because if you'll see the reaction there is release of h2 a molecule and uh, i don't want to go in detail uh, as of now uh, here let us go to next slide so how are you going to prepare urea formaldehyde resin so for that uh, you have to first uh, take a blank beaker and then uh, take the weight of the beaker 
so it's just like you just weigh the beaker by putting it on the weighing scale let's say the gram is uh, like weight is w gram so take that blank beaker and add 10 ml of uh, the formaldehyde solution to it then you uh, measure 5 gram of urea again on the weighing balance and add that urea also to it so in the beaker when you have weighed it uh, you add uh, formaldehyde and urea and you take a stirring rod and start stirring so the urea will be dissolved in the formaldehyde completely uh, within uh, some uh, time and at that moment you have to add a few drops of concentrated h2so4 now once you add few drops of concentrated h2so4 this uh, will be settled down i mean this will be solidified uh, very soon and you uh, will be ready with your uf resin and then obviously you want to know how much resin you have prepared so you have to note the weight in grams so again uh, you will take that beaker and uh, along with that uf resin uh, you have to weigh it let's say the weight increases to w1 gram so now if i want to know how much resin i have prepared it would be very simple i have to subtract the weights so this is how we'll be able to understand how much urea uh, formaldehyde resin we have prepared so the preparation is very simple you have to add formaldehyde and uh, mix it with urea add some drops of acid to it and you are ready with your resin now let us go ahead uh, with how it is preparing like what are the reactions so this is urea carbamide and h2co nh2 this is your formaldehyde which is hcho so when you mix urea to formaldehyde in the beaker what happens uh, the U formaldehyde starts reacting with it so first it will get attached to first nitrogen as it is it will be attached so you can see a mono methylol urea derivative is formed mono means one methylol means methyl alcohol so here you can see ch3oh group which is methyl alcohol so you may call it as a mono methylol urea now you keep on uh, like stirring a uh, formaldehyde with urea so when you are stirring the reaction will continue and the reaction continues to make one more intermediate which is like dimethylol urea di means two molecules of formaldehyde are attached to urea now this is what the intermediate which is formed and uh, as i said when you mix urea with formaldehyde you will get a transparent liquid it will be dissolved this is what the stage is when it is dissolved now you have added few drops of h2so4 to it and then when you add h2so4 what does it do first it serves as a catalyst so it increases the rate of reaction uh, it makes the reaction fast and the reaction uh, gets uh, you know finish easily secondly uh, when you see these intermediates are going to react you can see oh from one molecule and h from another molecule are reacting and same happens with at both of the ammonia molecules so at top and bottom both of the molecules are reacting so obviously there is release of water molecule in this reaction and that is how you call it as a condensation polymer because there is a release of a small molecule which is water so the second role of h2so4 would be to absorb that particular moisture so at the same time it act as a dehydrating agent as well and that is why i said that you will be getting your solidified uf resin in a very short span of time because as soon as you enter h2so4 the reaction rate is fast or uh, this reaction takes place and the h2 which is released will be absorbed by concentrated h2so4 right so that is how you have resin is prepared now you see the reaction it's that simple nch2 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 link you can observe in between you have co so this is kind of cross linked polymer Uh, when in like linear polymer you may call it like uh, polyethylene and all and when there are functional groups you may call them as a branch to one and when they branching connects to two linear chain it becomes a cross link that so basically this is how uf resin is prepared now i think you now you understand that obviously it's a synthetic polymer because we are preparing it in lab i think now you understand why it is a co polymer because these two monomers are different and then uh, why it is a condensation polymer uh because polymerization reaction by which you are making it is condensation in nature and uh, uh, like that and then uh, you may go ahead with like cross linked and other type of classifications also came in picture so now let's go ahead with what are we going to do so now i'll play the video uh, what are we going to uh, do would be mixing of these three things together uh, let us see this is concentrated sulfuric acid which we are going to use uh, then this is urea nh2cu nh2 uh, then this is formaldehyde formalin 
and you have to take a beaker you have to use pipette in order to take 10 ml of formaldehyde so just measure formaldehyde solution and uh, put it in the beaker then uh, you have to measure urea so on the weighing scale you just measure around 5 grams of uh, urea and then take that uh, substance add it to the formaldehyde solution so with the help of this glass rod you stir it it will become almost transparent it will be dissolved at the end add few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid so when you add concentrated sulfuric acid again start stirring and within few minutes uh, you will be ready with your solidified uf resin so this is how it looks like and then to discard it uh, you can wash it because excess of acid would be there so don't touch it directly first wash it with water and then you can throw it in the dustbin and before that we have to weigh it also don't forget so now this is how it, it was very easy to prepare you took formaldehyde and then you added urea to it and you uh, were ready with your uf resin wherein in between you have added some drops of acid also so this was the overall reaction now coming to precaution because now we are going to add concentrated H2SO4 so we are not going to dilute it now when the normality is that much high like around 17-18 normal solution you are having that is very acidic so you need to be extremely cautious while doing this experiment because the reaction is vigorous you may call that the reaction is exothermic in nature so the heat will be released so it's better to be still you know little away from the beaker because there will be some fumes also coming out of the reaction as of now uh, like we have prepared around like 15 grams uh, let's say if your w weight is 10 point uh, maybe 3 4 grams and then w1 weight uh, let's say 25.77 gram so obviously uh, 15.43 uh, gram would be your answer so this is what like you have prepared around 15 gram only so not much fumes or much heat would be released but then you should know that this is uh, how it is going to be so you need to be little cautious while always using any kind of acid in the reaction and then at the same time if more fumes are there you may use a fume cupboard also like it just work like uh, the cooktop when you have your chimney over your cooktop and when you cook anything the fumes are absorbed by it almost same concept applies here in fume cupboard also because when the reactions are giving you fumes they will be easily absorbed so basically this is how you have to prepare your resin now coming to some application portions like if you want to uh, use it you want to know where you are going to use it so amino resins are majorly in use and you can see the variety of use because at the same time they are used in a, like automobile tires, then it is used in electrical devices too, textile, wood, fabric, paper, everywhere, right? So especially if you go with UF resin, it is used in packaging material, unbreakable dishes, you can see those kind of like with malamine also, water tumblers, you can see water tumblers made by UF resin and then button clock cases uh, and like that. And in uh, paper and textile industry, it is used to give a finish. Uh, to the thing or maybe sizing agent when, uh, when the paper is coated with this UF resin uh, the paper becomes glossy so that gloss comes because of the coating of the UF resin so you might have observed that the glossy paper are having good wet strength so they are not easily getting wet when you put water on the paper right it's because of that gloss and that gloss is because of UF resin and at the same time it is used in plywood industry also as adhesive uh, it is directly basically solvent responsive so you have to mix it with some solvent first then in order to use it uh, like uh, it is uh, not temperature sensitive not pressure sensitive just like other adhesives uh, you may see uh, my separate video posted on uh, adhesives uh, now let's go ahead with it is used in electrical devices also and in foam portion also you may convert it uh, uh, which is used as artificial snow in movies so a lot many applications are there now i wanted to convert, uh, cover phenol formaldehyde also along with amino resins and uh, the most common name is bakelite phenol and formaldehyde are obviously the monomers involved and just like that uh, uf resin or amino resin this also has having plenty of applications you can see uh, them in the market in different different types of material so let us go ahead with this also 
you might not be knowing that you know bakelite only but they are uh, mixed and composites are formed with cotton and the name is novotex in terms of foam it is known as oasis and bonded paper it's pexulin and ebinol and in terms of plastic it is stuffnol so you can see lot many applications of this resin also and here also this uh, same thing happens that you have to select the monomers obviously formaldehyde being one of them and phenol and then at the end you have to add few drops of acid to it in order to get your phenol formaldehyde resin now let me uh, like show you uh, how it is prepared and it's just like the same the way you prepare your uh, uf resin so we require acetic acid formaldehyde phenol and few drops of acid so take 5 ml of acetic acid and uh, measure it with measuring cylinder and take it in the uh, beaker we have taken the same beaker and then uh, we have to add around uh, 2.5 ml of formalin so you add 2.5 ml of formaldehyde to it followed by 2 ml of phenol to it and then we have to obviously stir it again and add some few drops of uh, concentrated hcl here like the way we added h2so4 in uf resin and then start stir and this is how this polymer is Look, looks like so the aim of this uh, video was just to show you that how does a resin look like and how you can prepare them and they are wonderful materials you can play with the chemistry of those compounds you can change their functional groups and uh, like that so i think with that you are able to understand how a resin is prepared and how does it look like um, thank you all for liking uh, the videos and subscribing to my channel and uh, do mention in the comment uh, if any specific topic you want me to cover thank you so much